And if you're returning Sabi, hello, hi, Han. And if you are new here, please do subscribe and join the B family. I have something interesting in my hand. I have a pool noodle. And you know what this means. It's a DIY video. So yes, guys, I am making a headboard with this. I'm gonna use pool noodles. I have six of them here, and I have my hardwood over there. That's like a board. It's a super board. I didn't want it to be too heavy, so I went for I think this is a six millimeters thick. I am not sure, but it was a super wood. Um, it is quite heavy, not really heavy. But it's like hard wood that's more like a short board i don't know if it makes sense i'm not really sure of the name but yeah it's called super wood i got it from buco and i had it cut out in a 1.37 by 750 that's 750 is the height and 1.37 is the width because it's a headboard for a double bed and it's for my little brother so i'm only gonna use this and the hard board over there and some glue and some cloth i bought fair fabric um a velvet cloth which is like 1.5 by 1.5 meters for 100 rand. so uh, but i'll link everything in the description box on what i used but yeah it was everything was quite cheap except for this and the hardboard well the hardboard was inexpensive because it was um 2.8 meters by 1.8 meters of which it means i can make four headboards with all the leftover parts there but then i already have a headboard i'm gonna see what i use it for so yeah please do enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this diy videos and Please give it a try and let me know how it goes. Please do enjoy and stick to me. One full noodle here is about 1.5 meters, if I'm not mistaken. It has to be 1.5 meters. And I don't know where this
actually struggling with cutting the pool noodles in half like I think you done too I am really struggling it keeps getting skewed so I'm gonna do it off camera try and figure it out how I'm gonna do it because it's gonna take time and once I am done I'll be back to show you how it's going okay we are back and I am done with the noodles and guys please if you decide to do this then please get someone who's patient to do the cutting in a half for you because I am oh, a jellyfish I'm like I couldn't feel it out This step with the white glue, which is the wood glue, is really not necessary. You can just go in with your super glue or hot glue gun. When you cut your noodles, please try and make sure you don't cut them in skew because it's going to mess up your lining when you try to glue them down. Like in this case, um, mine were a bit skew. But then just try and line them up so that they are straight and they fit exactly into the headboard. But either or you cannot do it and get it perfect for the first time. So just do what you can. And here I am just trying to cover off the pieces left at the bottom because um, the noodles were not 1.5 meters as I thought. So this is what we currently have. I'm not gonna show the side down here because it's a mess. Yes, I was turning in the pieces to make it to the end of the border and this side is perfect. I'm just gonna trim it a bit so that these corners are not straight but a bit like curved. I'm gonna do that now. Then this is it. Then after that, we Here's need to, to cover it. This is a mistake. So I'm gonna trim the corners, the top here. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't just really so need it's no more. No. Just wanna make it stop. I'm just gonna go in a bit. Maybe it's something in the water. Like that. Or maybe we just hit the end of the curved. road. See? Right now it the doesn't patient. even matter. So it's too late not to let it go. I'll be back. Here I'm just going in with glue and a brush and a hair dryer. And when you do the step, please have someone to assist you as you knit your fabrics to be proper. Guys, I forgot to show the part where I use the staples at the back to hold down the fabric. But that's all you need. You need a staple gun and staples and you just pin down the, the fabric at the back. I'm sorry I forgot to show that part. Hi guys, we are finally done with our DIY hat board. Yeah, that's the one behind me. That's the hat board. It's already in my room. Okay, but it's not mine. I'm gonna take it out but for now i wanted you guys to see it and this is it not the perfect but it looks great there are just a few things that i might do better next time when i do it because it was my first time so obviously there's gonna be um a few things that you don't get right um for instance cutting off the pool noodles i just need to figure that out and the clock make sure you get enough make sure you get enough if your head pod is like 1.5 in width get like a clot um two meters plus because you're gonna run out but yeah i am glad i am finally done and this is the head pod. it was really really easy um out of all the other diys besides the painting but most of the woodwork that i do um this was the easiest like there was no drilling no nothing it was the easiest guys like you can basically do it anyone can basically do it if you want so 
if you want to and i just want to come in here and say from the videos that i was watching that i saw on pinterest um they were using an adhesive spray for the fabric to the sponge to the noodle to like glue that down and most views are from the states so most of the brands they it is just adhesive spray and it's brands you wouldn't find in south africa and there's one video that i watch from some girl in cape town i forgot her name who did the exact same project but she used um adhesive spray and it was the gorilla clue one the gorilla brand of which um now originally it's not from south africa so it's not easy to find and i couldn't find it i couldn't even find it on take a lot and it was just expensive like getting it online and whatnot it was just expensive so i first went to builders and i told them i want a spray that's gonna hold a form to a cloth and this lady gave me wood glue and said um because this one dries clear and i'm like but wood glue is for wood and it's like yeah it's gonna work adhesive spray is gonna eat the form and whatnot and you know how about that they don't want to be told because there's no way wood glue is gonna work on fabric but she was so certain because apparently department here she was so certain it's gonna work she knows and okay because i needed wood glue because i'm mostly working with glue so i was like let me just let me let me just take it and yeah well don't disappoint her of which i regret it i took that wood glue i used it to glue down the pool noodle to the um, headboard but i was also using it um with um the hot glue because uh, it was taking forever to hold and yeah i'm not sure if it if it worked maybe the hot glue was the one working i don't know so i wouldn't suggest you use it just go ahead using use a super glue use um your hot glue gun when you're still gluing the pool noodles onto your hardboard don't forget about the forget about the wood glue like really wood glue is for wood guys okay so it didn't work so i had to stop the project because it was a project meant for one day i went on to get the following day i went to build this again and this time around no one helped me i was like nonsense lab i'm just gonna go to the shops and find an adhesive spray and i got this it was a set it's an adhesive spray you see it's written to see adhesive it's a soda brand and it also has what we call a super glue i took this useless it didn't work I'm gonna try using it for the next headboard I'm gonna make to glue the pool noodle onto the headboard, not the fabric, and see if it actually works. And I'm also gonna use this for that instead of the hot glue gun, cause um, this one worked for gluing down the fabric, but then it was burning it, and it was when it dries up, it created what you you could actually see that there is glue in between, like you could see what the clue was so i stopped using it i only did like two and i stopped because it wasn't working then i went on to this other hardware store and that lady helped me they didn't they had as adhesive sprays but not the gorilla brand and i told her that i already have an adhesive spray and it didn't work and super glue also didn't work and wood glue so she was like take this this is like we know it like as i don't know what else it's called but it's like what is what is this called it's glue yeah so this is the glue it's like a water-based glue guys that's what i'm gonna call it this is the brand glue devil um contact adhesive so we went through the um, users and whatnot and she was like she's certain it's gonna work because it works for plastic it works for boards it works basically for almost a lot of things 
So she was like, please give it a try. If it doesn't work, come back. And I took it. It was only 65 friend, of which it's less than what I spent for that wood glue, which is not going to be useless because I'm still going to use it for my wood project. And this spray, this is actually the cheapest out of all the glues I had bought. And it worked. It's almost empty. It worked. So if you think of doing this, if you can't get the Gorilla Adhesive Spray, which I believe is the only one that can work in this case, then just go ahead and get yourself some glue, like this, this type of glue, then it's going to work. So yeah, that's all I wanted to come and share with you guys in case you want to consider doing this DIY. It's really, really easy. I'm going to leave down um, the descriptions the size of the hardboard because this is for a double bed i'm gonna leave out the size of the hardboard that i used and how much was it but then i had to cut it in four because it was a very it was like um 2.8 by 1.8 something like that it was a huge hardboard because you couldn't i couldn't get the smaller size now corner the smaller size is like a 2.4 by 1.2 so you have it you have to get it get it cut and it's actually it wasn't expensive because the one that I got, which is the bigger size, was only like um, 370, of which means you could get the smaller size, which you will need to cut up also for less than that. And the pool noodles were like 40 rand each from builders. Um, and what else? I've already told you about the glue. And the fabric, I bought it from this other fabric shop, which was like um, 1.5 by 1.5 meters, which was a mistake. I should have gotten it 2 meters. And it was 100 rand for the 1.5 by 1.5 because a meter by 1.5 is like 70 rand. So, yeah, less than 500 rand could get you a proper headboard, guys. Trust me. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. See you on the next one.